There is no one solution to combat the complex issue of climate change, but there is one place in southern Utah that is finding ways to make our lives in a drying climate more sustainable. Fox 13 News reporter Jenna Bree takes us to the Canyonlands Research Center. Everyone remembers the first time they've come here. Along the beautiful winding road that connects Moab to the Canyonlands National Park's Needles Entrance lies thousands of acres of land known as Dugout Ranch. If you saw someone drive past on the highway, you, you knew who that person was. Um, so it, it, was, it, was, it was a different time. Matt Red is a fifth generation um, rancher. About 12 years ago, the Nature Conservancy acquired his land. Now he um, and his wife, preserved, Kristen, manage the Canyonlands Research Center. Arid lands are really important um, in the world. There's a lot of agriculture happening on arid lands. People rely on arid lands. The research center is focused on um, climate adaptation with agriculture and ranching, but also with restoration practices. Professors and students from schools like Utah State University are researching how ranchers can sustain livestock in a drying climate. Grasses, which are a primary forage for cattle are going to become uh, more scarce. They're going to be especially vulnerable to drought and to the changing climate. This is the only place in Utah where you'll see Criollo cows, which Kari Veblen says are smaller than Angus ones and could have a lighter footprint on our land. Criollo cattle are a biotype uh, and they are of cattle that are considered to be more uh, desert adapted. On top of studying cattle, other scientists are using this land to learn how to stop a particularly dangerous weather event, which many Utahns are all too familiar with. We experience a lot of dust storms. Gets in your eyes, it's bad to, bad to breathe the dust. When you have a soil surface that's uh, completely covered and protected by biological crusts, then you're not having that dust getting up in the air and into your lungs. Matt Bowker and Sasha Reed are studying bio crusts at the research center. They've even learned how to grow them and reintroduce them into degraded landscapes. We really want to understand how biocrusts are doing things like stabilizing soil here because we do have so much issues with erosion and dust. We want to see these biocrusts doing what they do, which is gluing this soil together. Much of this precious landscape is being continually developed and recreated on. The Canyonlands Research Center is working to promote a sustainable future for the natural systems our lives depend on. When you come to a place like this, be careful of where you're walking and realize that the soil is alive and uh, it won't just come back tomorrow if you damage it. In San Juan County, Jenna Bree, Fox 13 News, Utah.